Alrighty, hey guys, Anime West Reacts here. This is going to be a reaction to One Piece chapter 1129 titled Living Dolls. And so, yeah, cover page Oni Child Yamato and Holy United Shrine Pilgrimage and Ninja Lesson It, Amigasa Village. So, yeah, we got um, Tama. Yamato meeting Tama Chinobu. Tama is practicing throwing shuriken, I guess. But all right, getting into the chapter. A world in chaos. Great sun god. We got some of the pill pillager villagers saying, Great sun god, please calm down. Look, you can see flames from the cracks. The sky is falling. It's the end of the world. And Sun God says, I shall never forgive the slight, you living dolls. You demolished my Ru temple. And my poor pet, I mean servants. And then Nami says, that guy is way too scary. Chopper says, he's more of like a demon than a god. Usopp says, is it okay for the town to be shaking like this? And then Luffy says, all this was really made out of blocks. Out of those blocks. And he says, jump over, cat. And the cat, yeah. And there's like, townspeople saying, wow, great, he's cut. And he says, he must have put a ton of time into it. Let's try to get away without destroying his hard work. And then, yeah, the cat lands and destroys a bunch of stuff after we just said that. And he's like, hey, cat. And the sun god says, Stop that, is cat. You, why are you aiding them? This <laughs> is, yeah. And then Usopp says, We can reach the end of the world in no time thanks to this cat. And Leafy says, Huh? We're going where now? <laughs> and then Nami says, You should listen, Leafy. We need to follow the blue, follow the blueprints. And he's like, Ah. And then, yeah, or, that's. Usopp, because Nami just tosses the blueprints. And she says, don't worry, I memorized them. And this is, oh. She says, look, Luffy, you see that mirror? We can see the door from earlier in it. She says, ah, you're right. If you look closely, all the clouds are just strung up balls of cotton. And Zoro says, this place may look expansive, but it really, it's really just a giant's room. And Chopper says, right. And then Sanji says, so the horizon only seems endless. And Nami says, but it shouldn't be much further. We just need to keep pushing forward. Now we get a map of the map of the area, basically. So there's the outer wall, the great tree, mirrors, the town forest fountain, and then, yeah, where the straw hats are, which is like right in the middle. And then they say, we've already crossed the half. We've already crossed half the country. And then, yeah, Sun God picks up a net, pretty much. It says, now I see. Do you believe those blueprints show everything about this realm? Then you are mistaken. Verily, this place is the truth, is in truth, a giant detention center. And then, yeah, tries to catch him with a net. And then, yeah, Sanji's like, why is he talking like a samurai? And then Sun God says, this facility was designed to ensure no giant escapees, no giant escapes this wall, even if you were to reach the other side. Do you think you have a hope of breaking through? That way is another dead end. <laughs> and then yeah, he says, hey, keep running, cat. Or, yeah. Zoro, I guess, says that. And then they say, great, East cat, why are you, are those people riding you? And then Zoro says, hurry in. Sanji says, go. They kick the cat, or kick the cage, breaking it, the net. And then Sun God says, the metal wires. It says, this resistance is futile. Ahead is the domain of the almighty ear god. And then, yeah, the villagers say, great Sun God, about the ear god. The truth is, 
And this is, yeah, we found his body burned to a crisp earlier today. The cause is unknown. We thought our misfortune couldn't get any worse. Then we saw the cracks on the sky. The day is truly cursed. And so, yeah. So, Sun God thinks they beat it. And no way, that carnivorous rabbit. Now we can see what. My gold bunny. Glut bunny. Let me see what the ear god looked like before Luffy ate it. And then, yeah, the villagers say it was it was already too late. The sun god laughs, says, how lovely, how precious. The world is a marvel. A grand tale is unfolding in my miniature garden, taking a life of its own right before my very eyes. And he says, I underestimated them. This is giving me goosebumps. Verily, evil has spawned and heroes are being born in the world I created. And the sun god says, history is being made. This is the beauty of my living dolls. A minimalist world and it's all mine. And then yeah, the people are like, this could be our only chance. The escape route is open. Let's run while we can. And so they like spread the word. And Luffy says, what's he laughing about? And Sun God says, it's, it's a live drama playing out in the palm of my hand. Haruden may recognize you, but I don't. Let's see what you do next. And yeah, Usopp uses lethal green star, skull bomb grass, and cause a huge explosion. He says, it's no use. I broke the mirror, but... And he says, the wall is seriously strong. Strong, And then Luffy says, just leave it to me. And then, yeah. Sun God is laughing, saying, brilliant. What a chapter. Can't get enough of these weaklings struggling against their fate. Their bitter failure and hollow despair only showcases their humanity. Setbacks and disappointments. That's the core of character development. It says, this folly is comical to watch, but your valiant efforts move me to tears. I am glad you made your way to me. Luffy Tasso, Zori Tasso, Zoro Tasso, Nami Tasso, Usopp Tasso. And then Nami says, he knows our name. This is Sun Tasso, Cho Tasso. And then, yeah, Trapper's like, what's the Tasso? And Luffy says, I'm going to punch through. Time for our little gear forth. And so, yeah, Luffy, like, throws his arm back and just does the arm. And then Nami's like, hey, Usopp, there's no one to blame for over a natural disaster, right? And Usopp's like, you mean, like, earthquakes, floods, and storms? No, generally, those things just, those things just happen. And Nami's like, good, because this guy has definitely put us through a lot of crap. He's really pissed me off. And Usopp's like, hey, he's a giant, so. And he's like, <laughs> so he's like I totally get your rage, Nami-san. I'll never forgive him either. Can't stop thinking about how he got you to dress up. How he got to dress you up. And then, yeah, Sanji's like, I'll grind, <laughs> I'll grind him to dust with my own legs. And so says, get a grip, Sanji-kun. This is, besides, I have a feeling he's about to feel some divine retribution. And so, yeah. Mugen, we see how the straw has got here. He says, Mugen, what have you got this time? <laughs> and he's like, hey, this is the straw hat crew, but the giant warrior party, giant warrior pirates were guarding, guiding them. And he says, something must have happened. They're fast asleep. Wait, they came from Egghead. Did they go through the sleeping mist belt? And he says, seriously, yep. And he says, <laughs> this is awesome. Harujin joined you all on his own. He wanted us new giant pirates to serve you. As if Elbath's strongest warriors don't follow itty-bitty humans. Hasn't he got a shred of pride? Just look at the small, frail body. <laughs> He's like, oh, wow. It's my queen, Namtaso. And then, yeah, Nami starts to wake up. And then he just sprays him with the mist again and says, uh-oh. 
He says, just go go back to sleep. You're for a surprise when you wake up. And he says, I see you have no clue where you are. Stay and run wild here. Now you will serve me. And then he's like, ha. Huh? And then Nami says, I'm ready, Zeus. He's like, what is this? I didn't make that. <laughs> and then, yeah, Zeus says, I'm ready to go, Nami. And then she says, by all means. And then brings it down. The thunderbolt. And so, yeah. It gets shot. Everyone, all of the people are like, what? Great sun god. And Leafy says, I hate to do this, but we're leaving. Bye-bye, block country. And he says, gum gum. And Zora says, we're finally getting out. Nah, Sanji says, serves you right, you giant perv. And Usa says, please let the outside be Elbaf. And he just goes back into the club deck. Cat says, we're out. And Luffy says, Kong gun. Gum gum Kong gun. All right. We're free. And so, yeah, Luffy used Gear Force without actually going full Gear Force, which is pretty cool. Let's see, actually. And so, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure you leave a like on it. Yeah, leave a like on the video, share it, sub the channel, hit that notification bell. And I'll see y'all next time. So, later.